Lunch? Postmates, I'm by. How can I refuse? Bye, Tessa. We have got to stop meeting like this. You heathen. Heathen? You heathen. Did you call me an asswipe? Excuse me? You just called me an asswipe. Uh, no, I didn't. You two know each other? Oh, we're old friends. Trevor! I'm drunk, uncomfortable, and I saw a tampon on the ground. I'm leaving. Yeah, no, me too. Can we order room service? I, I want fresh fries and ice cream. No! <laughs> What's your favorite book? It's The Principles of Economics by Alfred Marshall. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, I mean, no, I mean like fiction, like, like a real book. I don't do fiction. I mean, have you seen how I dress? You heathen. <laughs> heathen? You heathen. I would rather watch paint dry. <gasps> I, oh, that wasn't, no, I would, that wasn't supposed to happen. Look, I'm telling you, I know what I'm doing. We just have to soak it before it stains. Can I have your pants? Tessa. Give me your pants. Otherwise, it's going to stain. Hi. Are you trying to get me kicked out of this place? Yeah, come on in. Why don't you? Hey. Hey, Harden, good to see you. How you been? Fucking Trevor! I'm gonna go, I think. I'm just gonna let you know. No, 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 I just wanna talk to you. No, Tessa, no, Tessa, no, Tessa, stop! Look, Harden, I think this is a miss. Fuck oh, off. Oh. <sighs> Trevor, I'm so sorry about no, last night. No, don't be. If I showed up to my girlfriend's hotel room and I saw a half-naked, incredibly handsome man there, I'd react the same way. We are not together. I made you something. But... What's this? <clears throat> it is a cost analysis breakdown of your weekly Uber expenditure versus owning a used car. Okay. <laughs> I know. It's just, turns out you're wasting a lot of money. I did a little research, and I found a 2013 Toyota Corolla in town in excellent condition. I went down to the dealership, negotiated terms, and you put no money down. And you only pay 150 bucks a month. Vance also agreed to put your auto insurance on company policy, so that's free. This is, of course, if you want to do it, I just like crunching numbers. Oh, my God! I take it you like Oh, this. my God! Oh, thank you. Bye, Tessa. Hold that, please! Oh. We have got to stop meeting like this. You're right. I'll have restraining orders drafted immediately. Lunch? Postmates, I'm by. How can I refuse? Great. I'll email you some menus. I know, very chivalrous of me. Let me ask you this. Are you in love with them? I am. Then you got yourself a problem. Those are your words of wisdom. Hey, I never said I had any words of wisdom. No, you just wanted to know whether I actually loved him. You're toxic and you're bad news. If you love Tessa, and I think that you do, let her go. Trevor, I just want to talk to her, please. Give her a chance to find happiness in this life, because she's never going to find it with you. Uh, the other day, in the hospital, I answered your cell phone. It was Harden, and I told him to stay away from you. What? In retrospect, I do realize that that was over the line, and I do realize that I let my emotions get the best of me, and I'm sorry, uh, but somehow you bring that side out of me. Uh, there's actually more I'd like to say, but would you excuse me for a second? Yeah. Thanks. Tessa, 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 do you like to go on dates? Because I don't, but I, I, I will with you, if you want to go. <laughs> Tessa, that's so creepy. I've been meaning to tell you something for a long time, and the 
reason that I haven't told you is because of human resources in the workplace. Don't talk about human resources. That's not sexy. You're just never gonna leave me alone, are you? Time flies funny when you get an older. I should know better than this.